Now, what is structure? Structure is like the geological rock structure, you know, like join, fault, fra fault, present of fold. Hello everyone, welcome to Plutus IES and myself Akshay Guru. So guys, here I am today with uh, again one interesting topic that is again uh, in a series that uh, you know like I am trying to make this geography simplified. So in this attempt, I am now here with the geomorphology section dealing with one of the very important evolution of landform volatile topic. This topic is very important when it comes to the examination and you know uh, like a question uh, examination paper itself. Geomorphic cycles. See guys this topic you will find many times questions were already asked on this topic in the uh, UPSC examination and it is really you know that forms the base of process of erosional cycles and ultimately like a geomorphic processes and their intensity so the erosion is sorry this geomorphic cycle what first now we shall understand the definition of this what is geomorphic cycle see the very first thing there is much debate about whether that we should consider the evolution of landform as like in a cyclical concept way or like in a much discrete format but still, at least as of now, the, one of the most accepted definition and the explanation for this has been given by William Morris Davis. He is equally the, the very first kind of proponent of this idea, like way back in 1899. And like he is equally like a, the, uh, the father of that American geomorphology and that school of thought as well. So <clears throat> according to William Morris Davis, what? The geomorphic cycle is also known as geographic cycle or cycle of erosion. You know? It is equally known as cycle of erosion. This cycle is you know, defined in terms of the time frame. Now what time frame it does you know, imply? It is geomorphic cycle is like a time scale during which an elevated landmass or uh, you know like mountain plateau or any kind of topography like transforms into you know, like time during which an uplifted or elevated landmass undergoes its transformation from like <clears throat> the process of land sculpture okay from like the process of land sculpture in the initiation to ending into a featureless plane okay ending into a featureless plane known as a penny plane. See, penny plane is what according to the William Morris Davis is the end product of this particular process. So, geomorphic cycle is kind of a time frame during which any elevated or uplifted landmass transform into a land sculpture ending into a featureless plane any plane you know so that is what this geomorphic cycle as in so for example if you want to connect with it like araulis <clears throat> so according to if you apply this theory over on it you'll find araulis do elevated huata like way back in the uh, you'll find the archean era so during that time due to its continuous uh, first elevation and then continuous subjection to the various exogenic processes led to the relief okay uh, or decline in its relief and ultimately now it is moving towards a featureless plane like its average elevation is 400 to 600 meters and possibly in the uh, near future okay that Arauli would go into or transform into a featureless plane right if we apply this particular explanation now again so Davis postulated his concept of geographical cycle popularly known as cycle of erosion 1899 this information or fact will rather help you to start or introduce your answer 
present a genetic classification genetic classification that simply try to look for a genetical reasons genetical in a sense causative factors okay and systematic description of landforms now see for that purpose he has equally given a graph Ab ye graph bahut bar, no student fail to understand actually this particular graph this is like graph on uh, you will find uh, time against altitude okay time against altitude this is the base level of erosion according to gilbert gilbert base level is what base level is simply the uh, the ultimate position up to which any erosional agent can erode up to you know they say river river kya karege? is level like erode karege. so it's be temporary and permanent base level that that could be you know a type of this now so base level of erosion beyond which that landform cannot be ero uh, uh, eroded further so according to him there are few stages of any landform and the erosional agents its transformation so initial stage is the stage of upliftment that he rather not consider it as a separate stage but yeah it is rather the start of the process then there exists a young or youthful stage then there exists a mature stage and then there exists a old stage as well so <clears throat> this graph it helps you to understand the pele yape jo uh, landform hai, that it is now started to elevate it has achieved its peaks and uh, peak and then it entered into the different stages of its life youth then in mature you will find widening and then in the end see elevation has now declined considerably and possibly it transformed into the you know like matches with the base level in the infinite time right so this particular cycle is geomorphic cycle what the davis believes now in order to explain his uh, you know concept further he has a trio trio in a sense these are the triad three key ingredient that defines the process and its transformation from the youthful to the old stage of its life and equally uh, it it shall experience right this this uh, particular landform shall experience all those differential processes as well for that matter you will find three trios of davis like structure process and the most controversial time now what is structure structure is like the geological rock structure you know? like join fault fra, fault present of fold types of rock and all those things you okay? structure processes what kind of process it is exposed to endogenic exogenic diastrophic orogenic aparogenic tensional compressional uh, then weathering and all those right so what kind of processes this landform is rather subjected to that define its overall nature and intensity and the most crucial for time according to davis the process of landform transformation is like a human stage of life you know then just like we enters into the youthful and mature and into the old stage equally according to the davis landform equally goes through all the stages you know? huh. now you cannot consider ki land har kisi landform ka that rather the stage of life or the duration of that uh, life and its existence would rather be same but still you will find it has the <coughs> existence in that particular sense so structure process and time 2017 means already upsc had question on this critic this statement the davis trio like structure process and time so in order to define a showman like he used youth mature and old stage to mark the different phases of evolution of landforms then as you know as like for any preposition as in there needs to have some assumption because uh, there uh, you know if you try if you are trying to generalize something you have to avoid the real time complexities many times right and that gives rise to the assumptions so what davis considered davis has few critical assumptions and those you know are equally the point of criticism of the davis as well what that the davis consider that the process of evolution or upliftment of landmass and its consequent degradation or like uh, denudation as in more appropriately these are two different processes yeah these are too much two uh, like differential processes and thus we have to consider it in isolation so like this way the streams erode their valleys rapidly downward you know, that is known as down cutting yeah vertical erosion until the graded condition is a graded in a sense base level condition yeah base level the final erosion there is a short period rapid rate of upliftment initial period of upliftment is very short right that's why he doesn't consider that as a separate stage okay so it is very small and short 
and in land mass it may be pointed out that davis also described the slower rates of upliftment as like if so desired and erosion does not start until the like upliftment is complete like in a way that just inhalation like the movement like the, there is kind of synchronization between inhalation and exhalation you know so we inhale first and then exhale davis equally considered that that first upliftment would be there and then the erosion would rather start this is equally very controversial assumption okay so i hope you guys are now clear with this based on this what he has categorized any cyclic evolution into three stages and this is particularly applicable for like he initially in 1899 device for the river or running water then he equally applied it to the sea waves then equally you will find the uh, cast water or the ground water with uh, along with some other uh, scientists as well contributor as well so in the initial phase or the beginning stage only upliftment is there okay that landform or that if that structure is what getting elevated and no erosion is occurred right during this time so this is a neutral process where absolute relief is achieved okay okay landform ne apni elevation achieved kiya in the next stage youthful stage what a young stage you will find in this stage rather the due to as elevation is there now erosional process now takes you know a uh, what a control thread so in the initial stage the streams are pretty much less they are now even trying to you know increase in their number and the process of stream lengthening yeah initially streams are of short length but now as the process of erosion goes on continuous stream lengthening phenomena is rather observed equally during this time as high energy phenomena are observed because uh, elevation is achieved so here you will find high energy phenomena and hence you know erosion process is rather dominant erosional process and down cutting is one of the most important case thus the types of landform you will find like a v shaped valley gorge or canons are usually evolved during this time potholes are as well okay potholes are you will find plunge pools are as well evolved like during this youthful stage of its life so high energy process is itself this youthful stage in the next stage what dekho jaise yahan pe this upliftment of landform has already there and slowly and steadily this river or running water has started to you know erode the landform so it has achieved now its length and the v shaped erosion as well then in the next stage the second stage that is a mature stage second is mature stage in the mature stage rather the intensity of erosion has now decreased hai na and rather the process of low energy phenomena are common over here river phenomena over here the river or running water is now trying to have in uh, say incremental deposition so absolute release is now getting decreased and you will find what this heralded by the lateral erosion that is what the broadening of the stream yeah so that is known as lateral erosion lateral see vertical erosion it means what if surface is eroded in this format vertically it is what vertical erosion but if river is now trying to border it right this widening of this stream it is what the lateral erosion as in and in this stage lateral erosion or valley incision is remarkably like say reduced thus absolute relief and relative relief both decrease in that sense now that elevated landform started to lose its achievement in terms of height okay so see lat vertical erosion yahan pe that increase in its vertical depth and lateral erosion is now the tendency to get wider much wider in fact third stage third stage is rather of old stage this is now the stage of neutralization rather see in the initial stage the depositional activity and the widening of the length is rather observed river length but now with the passage of time river and it's the reason for its flow has not diminished or vanished because it has itself reduced that elevation to you know uh, uh, nothing as in and what happened you will find wide flood plains and a featureless plains are now started to reflect on the surface so old stage is characterized almost total absence of valley incision but lateral erosion initially like you will continue 
The relative available relief also decreases sharply, yeah, because of the widening you right? and because of active lateral erosion, no vertical erosion. Near absence of valley deepening is due to extremely low channel gradient decrease in length gradient in a sense and remarkably, uh, sorry, remarkably reduced kinetic energy. And the valleys became almost flat with the concave valley side slopes. Okay, so this way gives rise to. But this Davis model has been criticized on few grounds further, right? The very, as you know, this Davis model, because it has assumed few, uh, you know, uh, just in order to simplify the real time complexity, what he did, he considered assumption, like in a way that, that, you know, are very much prone to, or they do not fulfill rather the mathematical or other considerations as well. And he was criticized a lot on this, like the very first or very important criticism that it fails, like Davis relationship between upliftment and erosion. Is it really possible guys that like if the Himalaya is uh, uh, rising, like it, even if it is today, yeah. So you will find is there is no erosion that is going on. Absolutely, even if any topography is what being uplifted, you will find the process of erosion or degradation and denudation are still going on. So how can like, you know, like we consider upliftment and erosion are rather a different process. Rather they go hand in hand and thus it is very uh, like in that sense critical to consider these are like operational in isolation. Second, he admitted that he deliberately excluded erosion from the phases of upliftment because like to make the model simple, okay, and erosion is insignificant during the phase of upliftment. But whatever it is, now he is supposed to consider the impact of erosion even initially as well. So that ultimate, no, the end result would be rather much more perfect. Next point is the, you know, it demands a long crustal stability. Since, the, like, say for, for the phase of youth, for the phase of mature and for the phase of old, there is no expectations, you know, that earth would rather... Uh, you know, lead a release of energy in terms of volcano or earthquake or tectonic events. Yeah. So he considered, though, though idea was not proposed even that time, but still that it is almost impossible for the tract of land, like that it remained stable for a long period of time. And when it comes to, you know, like hundreds, thousands of years as in that it is seems very difficult for this, you know, landmass. So the crustal stability requirement is again very high. More importantly, the Walder Pings, yeah, the being uh, like a German um, uh, German geomorphologist, he criticizes ideas mainly based on time. According to him, time is not that critical factor that David considered. That the process of landform evolution is not connected with the time. It may be a possibility that it would, you know, skip the youth and mature stage of life as well and may transform into old. So you cannot consider only time is what the critical determinant of this process. However, again. You know, Walder Peng even proposed his model, but Wobi apne criticism pe, you know, it has its own criticism. And the most important, again, in the modern time now, they will find the quantitative geographers like Chorle or the Straher, you will find several others have rejected the division concept of historical evolution of landforms. Okay, so Davis model has been criticized on this many counts. But whatever it is, you know, like to propose this kind of idea that is revolutionary in itself is makes what the dev is unique. In fact, his models still find relevance in like the uh, lots of topographical evolution and the historical evolution of the landform. Like as I told you for the Araulis, like equally it is, you know, a case study of this case study on the Appalachian mountain range in the North America, yeah, Eastern margin of America, North America. So over here, you will find Appalachian mountain illustrate the Davis geomorphical cycle of landscape development. The cycle include the stages of youth, maturity and old stage. The Appalachians rounded peaks and broad valleys signify that it is still like in the mature stage of its life and those rivers eroding the surface or the erosional agents are equally you know are in the mature stage of their developmental process. The fluvial process dominate the transitioning the landscape towards the peniplanation yeah peniplane formation at the end so at the end of the Appalachian life that would be a peniplane formation okay this cycle helps explain the progressive nature of landscape evolution.
So, whatever is the case, like Davis has faced criticism even on the end product as well, like penny plane, pedi plane, uh, and you know, and the different process. But still, that even at this moment of time, we don't have the model that you know competes well with the Davis model. Okay, though Peng model is equally good, yeah, but it there are you know some unans uh, like unanswered questions even over with this model. So Davis model of uh, erosion that is like geomorphic cycle i hope you guys are pretty much clear with this and if you want further topic like this topic uh, any other topic to be explained so let me know in the comment box so thank you guys and wish you all the best